Now in this video we're gonna go through the inefficiency of a rent ceiling. A rent ceiling set below the equilibrium rent results in an inefficient underproduction of housing services and we already know this intuitively from the last couple of videos and you could already see this in this graph that this is our equilibrium point and this is our rent ceiling. You could see right away that it is inefficient. Now the marginal social benefit from housing uh, if we consider this graph as for housing, housing exceeds marginal social costs. And from that, a dead weight loss appears. So let's just draw in our dead weight loss. And I, ha I am highlighting that right now. And I also have the arrow pointing to the dead weight loss. So a dead weight loss appears. But that is not all. Producer and consumer surplus also shrinks, so our consumer surplus shrinks to this area. Before the rent ceiling, where we had equilibrium, the consumer surplus would include this whole area that I'm hovering over right now. And now that we have the rent ceiling, consumer surplus has shrunk. Producer surplus has the same, uh, has experienced the same effects and they shrank as well. Because before the rent ceiling at equilibrium, they had this whole area that they could take advantage of. But now with the rent ceilings, uh, they are, they, the producer surplus have shrunk. So a dead weight loss has appeared and the producer and consumer surplus shrank. And there's also a varying amount of potential loss uh, from search activity and this is this red part that I'm currently trying to highlight right now but my computer is freaking out so let's just take some time and highlight that so this red highlighted area is the potential loss from search and that is all the time that we spend uh, searching for housing which could be used for more productive uh, more productive activities such as working but our time is used searching for housing so that is the potential loss from search so the potential loss is borne by consumers and the full loss due to the rent ceiling is the sum of the deadweight loss which is this gray area plus the increased cost of search activity which is this red area because the consumer surplus this consumer surplus that shrank is not a loss. The producer surplus that shrank is not a loss. The only loss that uh, we consider a loss is this red and gray area. So there's a potential loss from increased search activity and uh, that is all you need to know for this video. Uh, please note that on the horizontal axis we have the quantity which is uh, in the thousands of units per month and the, the the vertical axis is the rent, which is the dollar per unit per month. And other than that, uh, this is it for today's video. In the next video, we're going to go through the fairness of rent ceilings. But other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.